In 2019, as part of the master facilities planning process, our voters here in Sycamore Community Schools approved a $127.5 million bond issue that went to provide new facilities and renovated facilities across the district. I'm excited to be able to give you this update today because there's a lot happening in our community. In fact, we'll start with the high school. Did you know that 50% of the total project is going to be completed between this March and this coming November? Some of those areas highlighted will be the complete renovation of our gym, the beginning of the construction of the natatorium, our exterior athletics, continued development and restoration of some of our academic areas, and also our commons area and our cafeteria. All this work, in addition to the new front of the building, is going to be happening intensely. So there's going to be a lot of motion over on the high school campus. We're excited to see the progress. One of our biggest milestones as a part of the Master Facilities Plan is the opening of EH Green Intermediate School. This coming school year, the 22-23 school year, we'll see our students experiencing this brand new building in addition to renovated spaces in the old EH Green. So what does that look like? That looks like a lot of transition this summer as we look to move out of the old EH Green into the new EH Green and the demolition begins on that old space. There's going to be a lot of movement happening, but we're excited to be able to welcome our students and staff into this new space. Looking forward is to the junior high. Um, we have another year under construction there, but if you walk over on campus, you're going to see some really exciting things happening. The academic kind of area of that building is really taking shape. We're seeing drywall come up in the classrooms. The areas are starting to look more defined now. Outside of that, we're starting to see some of the block come up out of the ground for our community theater, in addition to the, ac or in addition to the administrative and arts wing of the building. But most importantly, probably what you'll notice on the side of the junior high is that our transportation department has been moved. As part of the master facilities plan, I know we have talked about this over and over, we needed to move the transportation compound off of that site and relocate that to a new area. And we're proud and honored to be able to say that we've worked diligently to get a temporary location for our buses um, that's located off of the former PNG site near Reed Hartman Highway. We continue to work with our developers to secure a permanent property, but in the meantime, uh, the junior high property continues to be developed and we look forward to uh, moving our students in for the 23-24 school year. Many of you know or have seen pictures online of the renovations over at Sims. That project was um, complicated in that we added space, um, but we also completely gutted and renovated that building. And so we're honored on March 23rd to be able to invite the Board of Education up for a board meeting, have the sim players out, um, operate out of their new stage, and give our community an opportunity to walk around and see the redesigned spaces up there. It's absolutely beautiful, um, and we're proud, and I know our families at Sims are extremely proud of what's going on. I mentioned earlier, as I talked about the high school um, project, that there's a lot going on up there. But what most notably to many of our athletes is that we're going to be starting our construction mid-March on our exterior athletics multi-use stadium and concession area. I know many people are looking at that property and wondering what's happening, when is this going to start? We're going to begin moving dirt again mid-March and our anticipated opening of the multi-use stadium is this fall, just in time for the football season. So why do I say multi-use stadium? It's because we're developing a stadium that more than just our football will be using. We'll have an opportunity for our bands to be able to use that field um, and many other sports. And so we're excited to be able to see that momentum and we thank our partners at SHP, our architectural firm, the city of Montgomery for coming together to get that project moving forward. As you can tell, we have a lot going on here in Sycamore, and I think oftentimes we lose sight of the scale of the project. And I just want to send a quick shout out to our entire team um, here in our business operations through SHP and also our contractors at Graybach, Marnark, and HGC. It is truly a team effort to be able to fulfill this $127.5 million commitment. But most importantly, we want to thank our community who has supported us through this process and who will um, obviously be able to experience these through either community involvement or through their students each and every day. Thank you.